Today, we are going to narrate a fascinating tale that transcends religious boundaries. The story of a figure known by many names, Satan, Iblis, the Antichrist. From the pages of Christianity, Judaism, to the verses of Islam, this enigmatic being has left an indelible mark on the fabric of these faiths. Across these religions, Satan plays a common role, tempting humanity away from goodness. So get ready to embark on a journey that unites ancient tales with contemporary understanding. Now let's begin. Satan within Judeo-Christian culture is depicted as the most formidable demon. Over the years, the depiction of the Prince of Darkness has transformed from a fallen angel to various incarnations, including that of a bearded, crimson-toned figure adorned with horns and a trident. His name, signifying adversary, epitomizes the antithesis of the values embodied by God and Jesus. Continuously positioned in opposition, Satan perpetually contends with God in the battle of human souls. In the traditional narrative, Satan is closely linked with the persona of Lucifer, formerly a celestial being. Driven by pride, he defied God, leading a rebellion. Lucifer successfully influenced other angels to join his rebellion against the Creator. However, this uprising was quelled by the intervention of Archangel Michael. United with his celestial forces, Michael thwarted the rebels, casting them out of heaven. Subsequently, Lucifer and his fellow fallen angels found their abode in hell. The chief of the rebellious angels was none other than Satan. In certain interpretations, Satan assumed the guise of a serpent, persuading Eve to partake of the forbidden fruit, resulting in humanity's expulsion from paradise. When recognized as the devil, Satan personifies the embodiment of all malevolent forces. According to the biblical account, there came a day when Satan, the accuser, approached God. The Lord then brought Job to Satan's attention, describing him as a remarkably righteous and devoted individual beyond Satan's influence. However, Satan questioned Job's faith suggesting that his righteousness stemmed solely from his prosperous life. God permitted Satan to taste Job. As a result, Job lost his wealth, children, and health. Yet he remained faithful. God responded from a whirlwind, highlighting his wisdom. Job humbly accepted God's supremacy. God restored Job's blessings, rewarding his steadfast faith. However, Satan's most renowned biblical occurrence is his meeting with Jesus, who ventured into the desert guided by the Holy Spirit, intending to fast for forty days and forty nights. Observing Jesus' hunger, Satan transformed stones into bread, attempting to lure him into temptation. However, Jesus firmly resisted. Satan then tempted Jesus to cast himself from a mountain questioning whether angels would rescue him, but Jesus rebuffed the notion, stating that testing the Lord was unnecessary. In the ultimate temptation, Satan proposed granting Jesus dominion over the world in exchange for worshipping the Lord of Hell. Yet again, Jesus declined, affirming his commitment solely to worshipping God and rejecting Satan. This adversarial figure, along with the Divine Creator, will dispatch their offspring to earth to pave the way for the ultimate judgment. This progeny of Satan will be recognized as the Antichrist. Satan's presence extends beyond the boundaries of Judeo-Christian culture. This malevolent entity also finds a place within Islam. Referred to as Iblis, he was created from smokeless fire by Allah. He was among the jinn, a type of supernatural being with free will. 
Iblis's exceptional worship and devotion earned him a high rank among the angels. When Allah created Adam, he commanded all beings, including Iblis, to bow to Adam as a sign of respect. However, Iblis refused. Due to his pride and belief that he was superior as he was made from the fire while Adam was made from clay. Iblis's refusal to obey Allah's command led to his downfall. Allah cast him out of paradise and cursed him for his arrogance. Iblis then requested a respite until the day of judgment, which Allah granted. He vowed to mislead humanity from the righteous path as a form of revenge. The story of Iblis in Islamic tradition and its broader moral implications highlight the complexities of faith, temptation, and the battle between right and wrong. As we conclude this exploration of Satan's cross-cultural influence, it's clear that the battle between good and evil is a timeless tale that unites us all. Remember, whether it's Christianity, Judaism, or Islam, the message remains same. The struggle for goodness is universal. That's all for today, friends. Until next time, keep embracing the stories that shape our world. Thank you.